Welcome back to Farming Simulator with me, Alcatza. Uh, I'm recording this uh, on the same day as my last episode. Um, so <laughs> I wanted to show you guys like this is almost all the bales except the eight that is down there that we got from this field. It's among us. It's so many. I don't know what to say. So I will keep on working on uh, wrapping these bales for you uh, off screen. But um, we just uh, plowed our field and have uh, fertilized it twice once before plowing, once after. That way we have fertilized three times with the cedar, uh, so we don't have to fertilize it again while it's grown. So I wanted to show you the, our new cedar here that we bought a couple of episodes ago. So let's see. I don't know what to plant. Uh, we got oh, 52,000 We don't have so much uh, soybeans and canola, so let's do canola on this one and then we do not sugar beets, uh, soybeans on the bigger field. That should uh, be fine. I know I uh, hire a lot of works doing work but uh, I feel that they are more suited to do this work and while I'm doing things that workers can't do like wrapping bales and such uh, we will actually wrap this bale as well and then we will go and pick up the uh, um, animal trailer and we will actually go and buy some animals this episode um, as you can see I have been doing some work for the other farmers just to get us a good amount to be able to buy I think like 18 sheep or something like that and that should give us a good ground stock um, for them to breed and uh, start producing wool for us so That's, I don't think we no, it doesn't. I was checking if the trailer had uh, attachments so we could take the water bowser as well, but it didn't. Uh, right, down to Mary's farm. And Oopsie. I have to re remember to get the mod again that turns the uh, signal lights off. I um, updated this evening to uh, 1.3 uh, so I don't know if that will break any of the equipment we have as mods. It seemed to have done something with the rear window a bit in the cab. Uh, 
Oh, this tracker is almost not powerful enough to be able to pull this trailer. But we need the Massey to seed it for us while we pick up the animals. Oh, also, I'm sorry guys if you hear my keyboard and mouse moving around. Uh, my um, mic uh, stand I have, uh, one of the springs on it broke, so it can't no longer hold the microphone up for me so I had to place it uh, on the desk in front of me uh, but now it gets so close to the keyboard and mouse that it picks that up a bit too much and it also picks up my breathing a bit so I hope you can bear with me uh, while I'm uh, waiting to get a new one so we buy 10 sheep, that's 40,000, so yeah, it was a good thing that we got all that extra money. This is one of the fields that we did, so we can head out here and she's starting to like us a decent amount, that's good. So I will drive up to the sheep farm. Uh, I will pause the video uh, so you don't have to watch me driving around and uh, that way we can have some more time in the video to do other things so see you in a bit all right so we just made it back to the sheep farm and we will Unload the shapes. So let's head out, have a look. At our new precious munchy munchy munchy. So I think we will go ahead and get another ten sheep. Um And I think that will be a good start for us, so I will see you in a bit again when I got the last couple of sheep bought. Alright, we are back and we got the our last 10 sheep. So we go ahead and load them. So we got 20 sheep in total now. I think we actually park this trailer over here. I can't say, see that we need it over at the farm any longer. So we just go ahead and park it here and we go back to the farm and uh, pick up some grass for them. So. Well guys, I got interrupted with a phone call, so, but now I'm back. So, we will take the tractor back to the farm, uh, pick up some grass so we don't starve the uh, sheep that we just bought. That would be ta ter terrible. Uh, It seems like our work has, is done as well. Uh, seeding uh, 12. So that's good. Oh.
and eight. So I'm just not certain how we're going to feed them with the round bales. Uh, I haven't thought of that. I don't know if you can feed them directly with the wrong bales or <laughs> Yeah. Back this up here, and yeah, whoa, that not what we wanted. So, that's an improvement from Farm Simulator 15 where you couldn't feed the animals without a mod uh, directly from bales, but you can in Farm Simulator 17. So, that's really nice. So, let's see how many bales did that take. Uh, it only took one bale for us, so and I see them munching away. Yeah, four thousand hay grass. So that's really good. So the only thing we need now is to get some water. I think we take the Massey to get some water um, just because uh, uh, the water tank I can imagine will be very very heavy when filled up. So I think we will park the auto stacker and the tractor for here. No, that's a bad spot. What we can do is we can actually fill it up with uh, silage bales. That way we get rid of them from here and use the little time driving down to the main yard is used for something. There we go, eight bales. We park it over here. For now. And oh. the update um, changed, so I tab to the. I need to remember to turn that off. Uh, and reset a lot of things. Uh, and uh, where is it? There we go. Switch the trains off. Normal. Automatic on. Traffic on. 
field off of off yeah I'm actually using normal groove time uh, uh, this time around just to keep it a bit more realistic with uh, how much we can harvest so Why can't I? Oh, turned it off. Yeah, I thought it was the other way around. I didn't read properly. So let's go ahead and clean the cedar up. Making sure the dirt doesn't get stuck inside the machinery and let's clean, clean the tractor off while we're at it there we go and I don't know if we can get this Yeah, we should be able to park this beside the fertilizer. Just place the fertilizer in a bit of a bad spot. But it works. Sorry that it's getting dark in, this, in the game, um, but we have to do this as we bought the animals. Uh, we need to make sure they are fed and uh, have water to survive and be happy. So, if you look at the map, uh, if we go like a bit off road here. We should be able to drive the trailer down to the river and fill it up there, and uh, that should be fine for the sheep to eat. Not eat, drink, uh, and it will be a bit cheap for us. Let's see if we do. Yep, there we go. We also need to start thinking about buying uh, the fuel um, trailer. As our machinery is starting to get a bit low on fuel, oh, look at that, those, that tidy formation. This trailer is heavy with all that water in it. Let's see if we can get over here. Yeah, no trains coming. I'm being crossing where I shouldn't cross. One thing that would be quite interesting if giants would implement is that you have to water your crops if it if uh, you have too many days or hours that is uh, just sunshine so you have to water the ground as well making it more suitable for growth It's 
let's not try and cut over the, this farmer's field. We're trying to get this farmer to like us. So. And I think we will park this uh, water uh, trailer up here as well as. We are going to need it for to refill. No. Yeah, so we try and park it in here. There we go. And uh, we can actually leave this track for now here and we get back. Oh, yeah, I remember we were going to sell our combine here. So we go ahead that while the episode is still going on and we'll see if we can get something new. So we've got 186,000. Let's go in and see if we can make a deal on the new combine harvester. So uh, we were going to get the uh, uh, massive fragrance activia 7347. Yeah, we are a bit short. We don't have a loan at the moment, so we can take a loan. Yeah, we go ahead and buy all three headers for it first and see how much we need to borrow and we probably need some yeah it's where is the header trailers nowadays header trailer header trailer yeah Yeah, let's buy the biggest header trailer as well. I want it red and black. Cost us a bit more. Because, no, what have I done? What have I done? I bought the wrong thing. God damn it. I bought this when I was going to buy this Capello header for the Heliantes. That will set us back a bit. So that means that we actually need a bigger loan that we needed from the beginning. That's how life is when you buy something that you shouldn't be buying. Especially late at night. So that will set us back 170,000 in loan again. So let's go in and talk to the people inside again. They probably think that we are crazy buying the wrong equipment. So. And we will probably as the equipment is bought, driving over to the sale point, we will lose money. It's like a brand new car. Car. As soon as you it leaves the shop, it loses 
half its value. So 32 and how much did it cost to buy? It cost, yeah, we lost 4,000. That's not too bad. So I can leave it where that. Let's pull the trailer out a bit. And we move it over here. Lining it up so we can put the header on it. We probably would be fine with the smaller trailer as well, but I was thinking for the future as well. So I'm going to see if I can be a bit chic about this and get both headers on at the same time. Chat them or something. Enter, enter, enter. No. I don't know if this will work, but hopefully it will, and we will save one trip to the store. And we can put the corn head in on front as it's so small. I don't think you can... No, you can't trap the headers. That's a shame, so we have to take it easy here. Oh, car, I don't have time for you right now. Oh. Yeah, so we will head back to the farm and I will see you there. Alright, we are back at the farm and everything actually went smoother than I thought. So, the only thing was that we had to move the, the trailer and the pickup so we could place the trailer alongside so nothing was out in, the, in case it started to rain. <laughs> so, I'm going to unload the headers from the trailer. So we don't have all that weight on the trailer. It can't be good for it in the long run. I'm leaving the Heliantes header and the corn header up here uh, as we don't have a cedar for it yet. Uh, that's one of the things I want to get next. But um, I'm going to do this. Uh, let's see. Oh god. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, um but I wanted to get them while we were 
getting the, the equipment for the new combine uh, and let you guys see what I, I was getting so we will drive this down to the main yard park it there for the evening uh, and I will continue getting all the bale wrapping down and getting it lined up so let's take a look at oh god that's so nice uh, oh we forgot to let's back up a bit and disconnect the header yeah that looks a lot bigger than our old one and it looks so nice brand new Smelling the lever. So let's enjoy the sunset together here while uh, uh, we are ending the episode. So please subscribe to my, sh my channel. If you liked the video, please he hit the like button. If you disliked it, hit the dislike button. But please leave a comment. I hope to see you again soon and um, I will try to keep the episodes coming to you guys. I'm having uh, a couple of episodes uh, in a backlog, so I'm uploading them as I keep on doing new ones. So, well, guys, uh, welcome back to Farm Simulator. I wasn't supposed to do any more recordings this evening, but. I decided that I wanted to show you some of the new stuff uh, that I bought off screen uh, and also uh, show you the new combine working so I would, would I would harvest fields uh, uh, off screen uh, because you have seen so much harvesting and uh, field work lately and uh, I will uh, have a nice little surprise for you in the well, yeah, next um, episode. So, as you can see, I lined all my bales up here. It's uh, a I calculated that it's seventy-one silent bales. I got four uh, grass eight grass bales there and I have eight grass bales at the sheep so yeah got a lot of um, bales I also bought this um, fuel tank because my tractors were getting really really low on fuel so I will fill this tractor up while getting to the massive Ferguson and hear it roar so let's have a look inside oh this looks so nice from our old combine and we open her up yeah this feels a lot better but look at that tire deformation when driving this header is heavy Let's get up here. And let's try this baby out. Oh, she's a beauty. doesn't look that it's that much more but I f think it will go much much fast for us to get the fields down and we can get a lot more incomes from the fields and 
not have to do so much work for the other farmers any longer. Um, so it has been almost two hours since my last recording ended. It took that long for me to get all the uh, silage bales wrapped and picked up. Uh, I didn't want you to have to go through all of that. I could have done a ta time lapse uh, of it. Uh, I just don't like doing time lapses so much. I I'm more into doing it off screen than doing a time lapse of time lapse of it. So yeah, we're already fifteen percent full of soybeans. So we actually will put a worker on this, and I will show you. Oh, I left. What I wanted to do with you guys, so this is something I have no clue how it works. It's the roller. In uh, miscellaneous you have this lizard roller and it says with, with this machinery you can restore the initial ground state, delete fields. So I'm, oh god, yeah that's my, I was playing with my Xbox controller. Um, I hope that this will uh, make it so this field will be uh, normal again and we don't have to plow it. I, I'm not sure. So this is something I haven't seen uh, before and I don't know if you have it either so I wanted to try it out with you guys. So oh So it crushes. All right. So the roller will cross crush the crop. Uh, I'm guessing that's like if you have a field there, you have crops that uh, are on the side. Um, does it work here as well? Yeah. So, as we have seen on some of the uh, um, other farmers' fields, uh, you have like uh, ends that still have stuff on them, and I'm guessing that's what the roller is uh, for, just removing that extra bit. So, that means that we actually need to get the plow and plow it, plow it up again and I don't know if I can do it with a worker or if I have to do it myself this will be an interesting test So let's have a look here. So if we get him up here and unfold this. Yeah, it seems like um, it will only do uh, the initial field. Uh, that's actually quite nice. So we will actually put a worker on this because I hate, hate plowing. And uh, 
we will drive back to the pickup truck. I left it here for some reason. This will probably be a short episode uh, as it's something extra I never intended to do. Uh, but uh, I bought the roller. I wanted to show you the new combine uh, and the bales. So we have a lot of bales to sell uh, when we get a nice price for them. Uh, we also got some straw bales and some grass bales extra. So I think actually I will leave it for uh, that. Uh, uh, this is just as I said like an extra uh, half episode or not even an episode I will call it something in uh, YouTube <laughs> I don't know what yet but you uh, you have seen it if you have watched this already so uh, and let's park the fuel over here the parking spaces that way we know where it is so yeah uh, as I said I will have a surprise until next episode and uh, we will do something different then so until th that time take it really easy and have fun with uh, the games you're playing and have a really really nice time until next time bye for now all right right I just wanted to make a bit of add-on to my last uh, recording because I was using this roller and I used it on the field I should have read the <laughs> instructions properly if you come in here and you look on the roller it says delete fields so what I actually did was I deleted some of field uh, 14 so if I go over here I will actually delete the field oh yeah as you see gone no more field so that's I w the only time I think that could be handy if if like if I would expand a field that I don't want uh, any longer or something like that. So guys be really careful when using the roller. It will delete your fields and you will actually have to uh, allow um, uh, field creation on the um, plow to get your field back so that's just something to think about so uh, as I said this was just a, a bit of add to the last episode so I will see you